What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I think I'm gonna go down and get this tower today. Uh, there's a Flux Construct 3 up there. I've already defeated him though, so you know, you can you can be happy about that. <laughs> I don't know if I have to defeat them all or what, uh, but I think we're gonna go, go over to the Hateno area, and I'm it, gradually gonna head over towards this tower. I don't think I can make it all the way from here, obviously, and I don't have enough battery power to like just fly directly there, but we're gonna get into this area and then figure out what we need to do um, in order to capture that tower. One thing that I can immediately think of is, yeah, we can just go get this shrine. I got a shrine like way over there before, and I just really want to go to this area because uh, it'll unlock, uh, I, you know, Robbie can be there, I think, and then I, it'll kind of unlock the Pura Pad. And this is it. This is Hateno. I'm dropping in right now. I will eventually get that tower, but it's just a question of when. Uh, so this town, I mean, this is where my house is, right? I'm dropping in at night, so I don't know. We'll do the shrine first, and apparently, you know, fashion has overtaken this town. And I don't remember how long. It's been so long since I've been here. But I'm going to check things out, going to figure things out and uh, after we do the shrine. So, thanks guys for returning to this series. Of course, the Hateno Village is right here. And, uh, where is my house? I don't remember. <laughs> but my house is, it's in this town, right? I'm not wrong about that. Zan Shrine coming up really quick. Um, uh, gotta get four more shrines to get another, uh, set of lights or whatever. What are they called? <laughs> I don't even remember what they're called. But the, uh, you know, the things that you turn in for hearts. Scoop it out. Scoop, scoop it out. Uh, what are we gonna scoop out? That looks like an interesting machine. Uh, there's a ball that goes there. Gotta scoop out a ball or something. Scoop it out. Oh, there's some balls there. Holy cow. What is this? Is this some sort of a battery that I have? Like, whoa. Oh, I'm taking metal slate. Does this work? Does this conduct if I do this? That works. And now that's turning around. Okay. I mean, if it's just this easy, then I don't really know. I'm gonna go up and see just how easy this is. Seems to be a pretty wide, I mean, pretty big area. I'm not so sure, like, it's still attached, right? Like, yeah, there it is. I mean, is this not how it's done? Was there like a different way to do it? Okay. So I mean, one thing that I that's, that everyone needs to know is that there is a treasure chest in here. I just don't know where it is yet, and uh, we'll find it. Hopefully, it's, it might just be piled in there. Honestly, that's where I would put it if I were developing the game. I would just shove it in there with everything else. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to scoop like it out. Like I think I'm supposed to like basically make a scooper or something. Let's see what this means. Now, is that gonna move them? Like, I mean, or is it gonna break? So I can see it breaking as well. So that's not gonna do the trick. So let's see if we, let's make a, a more scoop-like, a more scoop-like device here. That doesn't really work either. So it, it breaks it, right? It, am I wrong? All right, I might be wrong. It, oh, it broke the thing up there. Huh. Well, now I'm out of those things. So, where's the chest? I wonder how much play testing was required for this to make it such that no matter what you have, what abilities you have, you're still able to do the shrine. Ah! 
Wow. Wow. Shocking. All right, let's try. Let's try like just this. You know what I mean? Just just that, and maybe like a. See if we can get this scooping out some balls here. Um. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see this happen. You guys ready for this? I <laughs> just broke it. What are we, what? Okay, I don't know how this works. I thought it was supposed to just be like, now I'm just gonna start digging these out in just hopes I find a treasure chest. I really don't know what the overall goal was. There it is, there it is, guys. Finally did all the work and got this chest out of here. Oh, wow. Okay, great, Mighty Zonite Longsword with the throw. That was the final treasure, right? Yes, there you go. All right, excellent work. Now we are going to get out of here. I don't, I'm not quite sure how the scoop aspect of that was supposed to work, but we did it. Now we're gonna go visit the village. I don't know, maybe enough time has passed. I, I like to go there while it's morning, if possible. I don't know. Let's skip this. And what a beautiful morning it is in Hatino Village, uh, the fashion capital of the world. Where do I even begin with this place? Because this has been a long time since I've been here. There's a well here, of course. Let's just jump in. Let's see what we can do. Let's start with the first house we come across. Hello, hello. Anyone live here? I'm still gonna go through your stuff. I, I'm a, I actually live here myself, apparently. I don't know if that's still true. I'm just gonna get, I just want a regular sword because I look like a, too imposing, honestly, carrying around that big thing. So let's go over here. Uh, there is a little well. There's a golden apple though. Hold on one second. There you go. Every time I'm so paranoid that there's not gonna be water at the bottom of a well, like a dried up well, I'm just gonna fall to my death. I wanna collect a couple froggies. I'm glad that wells aren't caves, even though they look incredibly like caves. Where'd this freaking frog go? Dang it, dude. Okay, whatever. Oh, there's some monsters in here. You doing pull-ups? Wow, I hit him. Oh man, I missed him that time. Okay, here we go. I'm not using my best weapon here, unfortunately, so. Let me switch it up a little if I can't if I can hello okay there we go this is better slightly better just beating him up you know <laughs> he didn't even wake up from that one <laughs> I feel almost feel bad for the guy He's, he's like, didn't even move an inch. Do my dudes not come here with me? Like, what's that sound? There's some meat. Are my, are my, all right, so they're not here, apparently. I still have this boulder hammer. Oh, up here, yeah, let's go up here. Uh. Let's do, come on, climb. Uh, what is that? There you go, take that. What was making the sparkling sound? I really don't like how I start climbing these things sometimes. There's a enemy here. It's a dang, what was that, a keys? Oh, get out of here. 
It's making it hard to catch these frogs. I'm just gonna kind of inch closer and closer to him, although he moves so fast. Hot footed frog, that means he is fast. I don't know what they're going to be used for, honestly, but... I don't know how many of these fish I have. I have a lot. He ran. All right, uh, what, um, hmm. sure. I mean, there's nothing, there's no, well. All right, I could really use some more fire keys. I need to figure out where the fire keys are. Actually, the fire, I mean, it was only really helpful against the one frost glee lock or whatever. But, uh, let's see. I mean, eyeball, in general, the eyeballs are gonna be, I think, I think for the, I mean, as long as they're not all elemental style glee, glee ox or whatever, then I think that it's gonna be using the keys things for, especially when those things fly is gonna be really important, I think. Tell me I can reach this, thank you. I'm not so sure where all this is going, but. I mean, that's not a good shield, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I already have much better shields, is all I'm saying. Little hole to break through here. Why did my uh, sages not follow me here? Flipping lizards. I'm gonna try to sneak over here and get these guys. It's gotta be calm when you're catching frogs, man. I guess that's the rule. Do I not have like anything that can... Any boulders, like any... Hey, come here, come here. Oh, whoa. That's a weak, a weak one right there, but. Got some jellies for it. I'm looking for just like a boulder. Typically they put them here, right? So that I can make another hammer thing out of, out of this. This must be another well. Oh, there's a, there's one. So I could take, uh, like, for example, I could take, uh, oh, like this. I mean, this one's fine. The improved sneak strike. I don't know. I could take this or this, either one or this, and just make like a nice little hammer thing with it with infuse. And then same thing for this one. Same situation. <laughs> this this area almost looks like I mean this almost looks like a dead end right here, right? He saw me. How could he have seen me? No, he didn't see me. So this is not a well no, this is a well entry. Okay, so let me think about this for a second, because does this count as a different well? Yeah, so there's a well here. Okay, so that well entrance has been discovered. I just know there's a girl I gotta tell about all these wells I find, and she's gonna be really 
enthused to know just how amazing this well is. Uh, let's see. Now, is there a well entrance here? Dude, there might be. Uh, let me go check out this one then. Okay, well, no, that so that well is now discovered. Okay, great. It's like an underground complex of wells. And I guess that might be how it would work for a town. I don't know. I don't know how wells work that well. All right. Have I not been here? I guess, oh, I guess not. I would really love to have, show me your spot. Show it to me. Are you gonna show me? No, what? I got a cricket. All right, <laughs> let me. Uh, let's get a good weapon here. I mean, that's one thing about this is I'm running kind of low on good weapons. Uh, this is fine though. Back to one of these bad boys. Yep. All right. Sure, eightfold blade, I'll take it, whatever. I know I need to go give a hundred flint or however many hundreds of flint to that one Goron. Boulder hammer is badly damaged, unfortunately. I can make another one. Let's use the one that's almost gone, though. Oh, the other's just a rock. Dang it. Whatever. Opal. I mean, this is almost a cave, but it's not a cave. It's just, you know. I see him up there. I just... Oops. Rock hammer. Oh, that, that rock. I mean, that worked out pretty well. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys like enjoy this like well and cave exploration footage or if this should have just been like done on my own <laughs> That's one thing that I'm constantly wondering like should I have done this differently? I don't know there's there's this place just goes around and around so we There is a well interest here have I have I been is this where I've been? Yeah, so I think we've come full circle basically I think yeah, so we've come full circle now. Okay, great. Well, <laughs> let's uh, ascend. I found like three wells doing this, right? And then uh, it's already almost nighttime here. <laughs> so this is where I, is this where I came in? Or yeah, there's a house here. I put in a good day's work, good for you. You look like a man who gets around, which I wasn't so tied down like I am. On days like this, my work, uh, my work to tend the field near the school hurts my lower back, so it makes the road home feel longer than it did coming in. It's tough work, no mistake, but you know what keeps me at it on the hard days? Oh. Knowing oh. that way, way down the line, what I do today is going to help someone, keep someone fed. Where, where did I come in? I literally, it seemed like... This was a house, but I didn't know there was another house over here. Is this, wait, is it, this is my house, right? This, is this my house? This might be my house. I'm hoping this is my, this looks familiar, but is this my house? I can't, I do not remember if this is what my house looks like. I don't, maybe not. 
Maybe this is not my house. No, this isn't my house. I remember this isn't. Sorry, my bad. Can I can I lay down though? No. Okay, let me uh, continue looking around. Oh, that little doggy. Rolling around. I actually I'm I'm lost within this town right now. I can go up a little bit. There's a windmill. I think I'm leaving town if I go this way. Okay, so. This is kind of the entrance to the town, right? Here we go. No one's here. This is where we would cook. If we wanted to light that on fire. Hi, donkey. What is this? Is this the inn? Part of me wants to just go ahead and relax at the inn so that like I can get some daylight here. Does anyone remember where my house is? <laughs> That's the I would love to watch some comparison videos of like Breath of the Wild in here, you know what I mean? Why can't he understand? I had no idea Wharton could be so stubborn. He would always humor me before we got married, no matter what I asked. Would it be so hard for him to wear a simple CC-branded hat? I don't understand why he's this dead set against mm -hmm. it. Oh, can I help you? Oops, I really can't be dwelling on that right now, not while I'm on the clock. Oh. Good evening, you must be ready to relax for the night after a long journey. Ah. Welcome to Tan Pu Inn. Will you be staying with us today? A regular bed is 20 rupees, uh, or if you're looking for a more relaxing and restorative mind and body experience, you can have one of our uh, extra soft downy beds. So no, never mind. I don't need that. What? I don't need that. I don't actually need that. I'd rather rest at a horse place to get a pony point or whatever. And then what's this area? Anything over here? Take. What was it mine to take? A pot lid. No thanks. Someone was out here on the balcony, right? Sigh. This is ridiculous. Ooh. Hey there, brother. Oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever is at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. I, it's probably my wife, Prima, you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around there, she demands I know why I'm not wearing CC branded clothes. So I keep my distance until the fad dies down. I never knew my dear Prima was the time to get so worked up about fashion. Yeah, I don't know. Fashion, I mean, I'm excited that fashion has taken over this town. That's that's a cool twist. Uh, Was there an upstairs here? Anyone over here? I don't think there's things for me to take. Uh, let's see. She's asleep. Okay. Well, let me keep exploring. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's go check things out further more in the village. It's, uh... It's just past midnight in game. Where do I want to go? I guess I'll just follow the trail. I, I actually kind of want to go up here. Let's go up here. This is the next spot to go. Now this is this my house? <laughs> it's a place to pray. I don't think this is my house. What is this? What's up? Mm, Zelda. Oh, Miss Zelda. <laughs> Sorry, but not now. My husband told me he's on his way to Ventus Clothing, and I have to be ready for what comes after. Never heard of it? The clothing shop right near the village entrance? Huh? But no. I really can't get into it right now. Deep breaths, Clavia. There'll be time to entertain guests later. Mm. I don't want to wake up a little sleeping boy. Ugh. Don't think I've seen you around. Are you a traveler? Then welcome to Atena Village. I'm Reed, the mayor. And yes, before before you say it, I know about all those tacky sculptures everywhere you look around here. What an eyesore. They, they're spoiling the rustic atmosphere Hatina Village is known for. And I know who's behind it, the designer at Vintess Clothing, that clothes shop near the village entrance. I was just thinking about going and giving her a piece of my mind. Sorry to say, but if you need something from me, you'll have to come and see me again later. All right, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what needs to happen here. What's this over here? It's like another well entrance. We were back here. Tenno is no entry without permission. Let me in there. Oh, actually, that's a good point. I could probably get in there through the well. Uh huh. Let me actually mark this on the map and then try to get in uh, through the well. Let's just put put this star here. 
and it'll be just to the side of that star. And then I'll go in. And I know I don't have permission, but, you know. Is that my house? I honestly don't remember what my house looks like. And then I just want to go this way a little bit. Now, is the star on my map? Like... I feel like I'm getting kind of far away from the star business. Okay, I'm heading towards it now. Almost there, honestly. Right there, basically. You think this will work? Let's try it. I am curious what's inside. Uh, no, I need to go. I go this way a little bit, maybe? Let's try this. I'm in. Love it. Love it. And there's a book. Notes towards a new variety of pumpkin. I firmly believe that Hitino Village's charm is in a, the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms. But there's no denying that these things just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays. And I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Knack, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of pumpkin. The color, shape, and appearance are based on the CC brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young folk. We've hit a snag, though. It might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the pumpkins out. What the heck's a snack? I'm out. <laughs> all right, was that worth it to read all that? I don't know. Um, a bunch of frogs over there. Is this my house? This might be my house or something. What is this? Help wanted. Apply to become a teacher. Want to show children the joy of learning? No experience necessary. Inquire at the school for more information. Prospective applicants are welcome to sit in on a lesson. Simon. This is a school. But there ain't gonna be no kids here. It's like 2 a.m. 3 a.m. almost. But I could sit in, sit in on a lesson, I suppose. The next class is... Simon, wake up. <laughs> yes, yes, what is it? Oh, it's you, Link. I haven't seen you in... Link, you're back? Ah, my apologies for the outburst. Clearly, you're back in town then. But what a Princess Zelda. <laughs> Imagine waking up to this. Ah, Princess Zelda's still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built this school, you see. She cared so much about the children. I'm sure she would be one of the first... This would be one of her first stops if she had returned. Right now, we're covering history, which is very important to Princess Zelda. We're focusing on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. You know, Link, you're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you'd like. Classes from morning until noonish, so please stop by the classroom on the first floor. Maybe I should. If I remember. Uh, so, yes, yes. Nice little place. That's not my house, obviously. Um, a lot more places here though what the heck do I do what what do I do all right let me venture off it'll be morning time I'll probably head hop back in around eight maybe sit in on a lesson the Sun is the Sun coming up now this early maybe so and then, uh, let's find out. Look at all these mushroom-looking things. Those are, those are pretty cool. Ugh. Someday a second store. Ugh. Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop. Right, so you're a new customer, I think. Ah. Well, I don't do the dyeing around here. You want my hubby for that. All activity is... All this activity is getting to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to CC that our shop has taken off like this, but every day is so exhausting now. I remember this dye shop. I remember, like, kind of falling in or something. However it works. <laughs> Look at this guy. 
If you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Who do you do? Welcome to the Kochi Diet Shop, where we like live to die. If you if you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees a dye an item. That that includes a service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your get up. Huh? Who we? This is that's a lovely paraglider you've got there. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, but we also offer a fabric rework service. Bring me some fabric, and I can rework your paraglider with flying yeah. colors. You may be a first-time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our new service for folks like you. Ta-da! Your very own introductory fabric. Okay, CC fabric. <laughs> have you dropped by Aventus Clothing at the village entrance yet? CC, the famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up the cutting-edge design on this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Think of me if you find some new fabric, won't you? We can rework your paraglider with it for you to fly the skies in style. <laughs> Dying clothes to the color of your choice or reworking paragliders with some new cloth. Either way, it'll just take uh, 20 rupees. Let's look at the paraglider options here. This is your first time reworking a paraglider, is it? Don't worry, I'll do all the work. You just hand over the fabric and leave the rest to me. So I have, like, I could do, like, the Lucky Clover, the Horse God fabric, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Tunic of the Memories, Champion's Leather, uh, Baca Blend, Hylian Hood, Egg fabric's pretty cool. Hyrule Princess fabric, Goddess, Sheik, Zora Champion, Rito Champion, Gerudo Champion, Ancient Sheik of Fabric, Mirror of Twilight, this is pretty cool. King of, Le uh, King of Red Lions, who's the King of Leon? Princess of Twilight, Demon King. Now, right now, I think my favorite is this one. That's the most unique looking, I think. Um, so, uh, let's just do it. Let's just do that one. That one's cool. Only 20 rupees. <laughs> Thanks for the business. This won't take a moment. No watching paint dry for you. Here we go. <laughs> Setting the fabric ready to launch. Is it going to launch me? That'll do. We're looking forward to your next visit. <laughs> Now, go out and paint the town red. That's cool. And there's the new uh, fabric. That's pretty sweet. I don't remember where my... Huh. I don't remember where my house is. <laughs> Still don't. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Nothing. Here I go patrolling. Hello there, always happy to see a traveler in, in Hateno Village. Are you one of those who came to see the new CC fashion line? Oh. Not to brag, but the mind behind it is my own daughter, Cece. If you're looking for her, you'll probably find her at that clothing shop. I mean, boutique. It's over by the village entrance. So I think I entered the village the wrong way. Not sure what the difference is, I personally, but Cece always gets upset when I call her clothing shop. <laughs> what are these? Are these tomatoes? I'm not gonna take someone's tomatoes. Um, is my house here or not? Like, I don't remember. Now I'm starting to doubt that my house was even here to begin with. The Bracing Winds of Change are here in Hateno Village presenting an exclusive new fashion concept, the CC brand. Catering to fashion forward individuals, the mushroom mode of style is taking the village by storm. Don't get left out. Mumble mumble. Love's fire burns forever. What's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly handsome dude. You look like you've been places. Sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here, checking out the scene, making sure no strangers put the moves on Miss Ivy. Wait, I mean, that's why I make sure no strangers come in from outside to disturb the peace. Ivy? You forgot the miss. Always had the miss. Miss Ivy is the poster girl for the East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Miss Ivy. Just keep the naive, I just moved here and won't somebody show me around act to the minimum. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashion-esque as me. Aww. By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think you would make Miss Ivy at East Wind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand. My friend of a friend wanted advice and I'm here having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just go ask her directly. Let me know if you think of something. So Manny's beloved, Miss Ivy, will have a preference to some sort of a gift. I suppose. What's this place? Building condemned, do not enter. So that means another well adventure. 
And I guess I would just drop in a star right here. Well, let me maybe it maybe I enter from the top. There you go. Much easier than than trying to go underground. Someone's been sleeping up here. Pick up. Yeah, pick it up. Oh, this. Hmm. Why am I here? Oh, is this where they're working on the pumpkins? Why, how come it breaks sometimes? Just arrows. Well, why am I here? Okay, I don't know. Let me out. Oh, wait, wait. No, we're fine. People are out and about in the town now. That's exciting to see. Should go to the school soon to sit in on a lesson. Is this it? But we came all this way, what? As I said multiple times now, I can't admit three customers at present. What do you mean we took the trouble to come here and now you're saying we can't get in? But I wanted to see Cece's new stuff. It's not every day a mega fa famous fashion designer debuts new material. Mm. Yeah, everything I've heard was that this is some of Cece's best work. Oh. I'm so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Mm. One ticket, so you're saying one person could go in? Mm. Hey, come on now, we can't just let one of us get a head start. Ah. Sure, I know that, it was just a joke. Oh. oh well, maybe if we all come back later, they'll have room for us all. Ah. Yeah, it's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Oh. Or we could check out the pasture. <laughs> Speaking of which, I heard that a little ways up the road, there's a pasture as a laboratory specializing Aww. in ancient stuff. Since we got all dolled up, we may as well hit the town and see it all. All right. Uh. Thank goodness they gave up. <gasps> oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who, who's come to see my sister's, I mean, the new line of CC products? Oh. As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. CC herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. Okay, I have time. I don't know how long it's going to be until 8 run, rolls around, but... Wow, look at this. No. Ah, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I built my name and reputation as the world-renowned Cece. Hmm? Uh, no. Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable Cece? Hmm. I must say you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Ooh. Welcome to Ventess Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the Cece brand. And if you weren't aware... No. You stand before the very woman who changed the fusty old village into the birthplace of nouveau fashion. As proof, I present you this. The CC hat, the newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, CC. <laughs> Do you see the luxurious curve? Do you notice my avant-garde color choices? What do you call it, the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly, worth a, truly worthy of owning it. Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such a crown. Who's this? What's all this about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hateno. Ah, uh, look who's here. What can I do for you, old see Mayor Reed? I'm really sorry. I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Cece, you have to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. The, those eyesores are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hateno's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Aww. Now, now, dear, there's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know? Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in, in Hateno wrapped around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Uh -huh. Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hateno's rejuvenation? <clears throat> it didn't need rejuvenating. Hateno Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. <laughs> do they? Then, they let us, then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. 
My avant-garde approach versus this mayor's quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. By holding a mayoral election. You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure, suits me. I'll win at that pretty easy. Uh -huh. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayor election to you. Uh -huh. What? Come on, Clavi. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we headed back home. There's no time to waste. Oh, it's you again. Uh -huh. I've got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election, and the sooner I get started, the better. Uh -huh. hmm. The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course... Undecided. No. Oh, if you haven't yet thrown in your lot with either candidate, then welcome to Team CC. Ooh. That settles that, I trust. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next mayor, oh. or so you would think. Yet there are still stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. No. And so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed supporters. Uh -huh. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. No. Although Sophie and I must mind the shop, where will we find someone we can trust to carry out this vital task? I'll do it for you. No. There's the magic words I was waiting for. You're a lifesaver. Now then, will you be needing these? Highly in shroom times eight, sure. Oh. These mushrooms are for the village's Reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionistas, dressed in the nines and CCs. In uh. CC. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. Oh. There are also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us with, unless I miss my unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. No. Your mission is simple. Give a single Hylian room to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go. Great. Just what I wanted to do. Is this not a store at all here? I mean, come on. Is there not, nothing to buy at all? What's this? Fashionable personnel only. What should I do? She saddled me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayoral election. Um, sir, I feel like I should apologize for dragging you into this mess I found myself in. But since we're both involved now, could you give me a little advice? Sure. Uh, I should have expected that. The... The thing I need your advice on is my sister. It's about Cece. Lately, she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tell my sister, find out where she's going and what she's up to, and get back to me. I've tried following her myself, but she spotted me right away. I really got an earful about it, too. If you succeed in finding out where she's, where, what she's doing, I can reward you, of course. You're the only one I can ask for help. I don't want any of the villagers finding out until I know what's going on. Help me out, please. So CC's secret. CC's got a secret. So no children, no, you know, whatever. But one thing to do. These people are fashionable, right? But you. They've been putting these strange decorations all over the village. Sorry about that. Are you a visitor here, a tourist? You're in Hatino, the village known for living off the land. As for as long as anyone can remember, we've tilled the soil and let nature be our guide in life. Now, though, everything's getting so glitzy as some folks try to drum up more tourism business. Mind you, we were all happy to see Cece return to the village after she's been away for so long. Some folks, like my daughter Prima, started wearing that flashy Cece brand stuff right away in celebration. But it's a tad over the top for me and my son-in-law, Wharton. We prefer the simple life, uh, the way we've always lived it. But I don't mean to talk you off. By all means, go on and have yourself a peaceful stay here. Uh, have a Hylian shroom. Huh, you see, this is from Cece. Thank you kindly. Us old folks don't know much about what's in now, you know. I'm happy to vote forever for mayor if they fix up the village real nice. There's one. That's a fashionable person right there. I'm headed to the school, by the way. These are all fashionable people. This is a fashionable person. What about this person over here? Uh, have a Hylian shroom. Oh. All right. You know, people keep talking up the CC brand and stuff, but it never really clicked with me. I know the lady works hard, but uh, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. Uh. But sure, thanks for the mushroom. That's mighty nice of you. All right, two of whatever. Everyone's running to the school, so that must be good news for, you know. 
Let me break these open. Arrows and apples and boom! Another arrow. A couple arrows. Um, who else? Got him. Let's go check out. I mean, th these kids are running there fast. Everyone in. I need to sit in on the lesson or something. I don't know. They should arrive soon. It's Simon. I believe that in order for our children to have a bright future, they must first learn about the calamity. I'd be pleased if you join us for today's lesson, Link. All right, let me sit down then. They took all the seats. When, when does it start? Morning, I mean, good morning. Mom says I'm, I'm supposed to be polite to grown-ups and teachers. I've learned a bunch ever since they started the school. Not in every class. Now, not every class is fun. History lessons put me to sleep sometimes, but I love it every time we learn about the farming stuff. Oh, do I sit here? Where do I sit? Just what road led to Hyrule becoming the place that it is today? I believe that in order for... Yeah, Calamity. I'm here. I'm, I'm here to join you. Still no lesson? I'm a traveler. Wow, and you've come to watch our class. Well, it's starting soon. Just a little nervous about the idea that someone's going to be watching us today. When does it start? Does it start at 9? I'm ready. Here we go. Today's class will be a history lesson. The story of Hyrule is deeply intertwined with the Calamity, and that is no exaggeration or embellishment. The Calamity has been visited upon the land of Hyrule several times before. It was sealed away 10,000 years ago by this sacred princess and a hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness. Isn't that just a fairy tale? Over time, history and legend sometimes blur together. All this stuff about 10,000 years ago and such, who cares? You got any pictures or proof to back up the so-called 10,000-year-old Calamity? It's no fairy tale, I assure you. These are real historical events. This is a problem. I'll need to show them some of, kind of depiction of the calamity from 10,000 years ago. Otherwise, this lesson is over before it began. Mm. I'm sorry, Link. This isn't how I thought the lesson would go. If I had more foresight, I'd have borrowed the screen depicting the calamity from Lady Impa's Hall. Kakariko Village, where the hall is located, is also in Nekluda, but it's too far to the northwest for a casual visit. Ah. If only I could show these children a detailed image of the screen depicting the calamity. Uh, I think they'd understand. Although I suppose it isn't Lady Impa's Hall now, is it? It's more accurate to call it Lady Paya's Hall. Alright, so teach me a lesson one. That's a side quest and a half right there. Let me go hand off some more mushrooms. Not sure who else needs mushrooms. I wasn't supposed to give them to family members, so... I think no one here. But let's find out. I worry about that man. Huh? Oh, you're you're the customer I saw at Ventus Clothing, aren't you? You know, from when they were talking about whether to go uh, through the mayoral election or not, it's become something of a hassle. They're both so stubborn. I wish they'd clear the air between them and end all this silly quarrel once and for all. Mm. But that's a moot point. I have something else on my mind. I have to take care of this before the mayoral election start. What's on your mind? Uh. Let's find out what's on her mind. Oh, you don't mind lending me an ear? I don't. I won't miss words. It's about my husband, Reed. That man of mine, he shuts himself up in our shed every night. I don't have the faintest what he's up to. Uh. When I asked, he just said, it's a secret, and I can't get another peep out of him. I hate the idea of snooping on him. Plus, I think he'd catch me at it right away. But I get so worried when I think about whatever, whether whatever he's doing will affect his chances in the election. Mm? What? You did it? You say he's developing a new type of pumpkin? So that's why he's been consulting with Knack so often. He could have just asked Cece about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for that. Ah. It's a relief to find out the truth. A lot of things make sense now. Like when he went to Ventus Clothing, it's so obvious in hindsight. I'm sorry, this that's between me and my husband. Thank you for looking into this for me. Here, why don't you take this in return? Ten Hylian tomatoes, perfect. Mm. What a pair the, the two of them make if they would just get along. It's a Reed's secret. 
has been complete. Let's find out if there's anyone else in town who could use... Let's see. Fashionable. Let's try to give a mushroom to this person. Alright. Let's see, uh, let's see if I can give in. Have a Hylian Shroom. Alright. Oh, sorry, I forgot to read. As she does look incredibly cute when she wears them too. Yeah, that CC is all right in my book. And I'm not the only one. Going in from the farm on the hill said the same thing. All right. <clears throat> Someone else got one of those. Were there people living over here? I don't remember, honestly. Um, what about up here? This reminds me of my house, but this may not be my house. Maybe it's in, in a different town, I just don't remember. Is someone fashionable? Let me see if there's something in here. Go up one. I went up all the way. Okay, that's fine. Um, is that my house up there? So much in this town, dude. Where are all my spirits? Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna check out the town up here. What does this say? Interesting. The ancient tech lab is up here. Is this my house? <laughs> I literally don't remember. Hmm. Well, you're a new face around here. If I'm any judge, welcome to Nintendo Pasture. Love to get some sun. Don't my cows look happy to be out sunbathing? Hmm, you got something for me? Have a shroom. Is this from Cece? Isn't that sweet? These are tasty if you fry them up as a, as a snack. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift, but me and my daughter Coyan and the old man talk don't care much about clothes. What use is fashion in the field, right? Still, I'm glad that's all you came for. If you told me you were here to pick up some fresh milk, I'd have been in a tight spot, make no mistake. Don't tell me you haven't heard of my farm's fresh milk. It's the best in Hatino. The secret's in the special feed I make for my cows. It gives their milk an extra little something if you don't get anywhere else. Something you don't get anywhere else. Except I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to pick up any more of it. There used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. No idea where they all went. Probably the squirrels started taking over and grabbing them all for themselves. Sometimes they drop the acorns they carry in their cheeks if you startle them, but they're quick little critters. I need at least three acorns to make my special feed, so it's a real problem for me. My daughter Coin is always out uh, staring to the pond, so I doubt she'd be any help gathering acorns. Well, here are some acorns from me to you. No fooling. Well, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, not with me at my wit's end and all. I don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but have a bottle on me. Some fresh milk. Oh. I was keeping it squirreled away, but no reason to be a miser about it now. I better go mix up a batch of feed right uh, away now that I got some more acorns. <laughs> if you ever want more fresh milk, I'll swap you some for three acorns. Call it a special trade just for now. Excellent trade. Thank you. I'm sunk without it. How do I fix this? Do I dive into the pond? There's no way, that's too deep to swim. Huh? What's with the blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. What's that you got there? Have a Hylian shroom. 
of course. Ah. Hmm, from Cece, huh? But I can see you mean well uh, enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks, sorry, but if you're from here on, if you're here on farm business, you'll have to talk talk to my dad at the farm. I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond quick. Mm. I finally found the letter my great grandpa left, but can't reach it. My arms are too short, pond's too deep to swim. And anyways, I don't know how. But that letter has the advice I need to get this farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. All right, so let's uh, take a look. I bet I can just use. Um, a letter to the coin. I bet I can just use my abilities, right? But I will, uh, BRB. Alright, I'm back. I had to eat dinner. Let's see. Uh, where is the thing out here? Let's see if I can just take a look at it. Oh, it's way over there. What the heck is that? Is that a fish? What, what is? Oh, that's just. Uh, can I just pick that up straight up? Just straight up get it? No. <laughs> no, I cannot. Okay, well. This is going to be a real mystery because I got to figure out how to get that. I'm guessing maybe I can get like a raft or something or... Is there anything built up over here? Hmm. Is there anything at all <laughs> that can be... Huh. Jeez, there they are. They haven't been here forever. All right, I really don't know how to get that out. Um, I don't think it probably has any sort of movement pattern. There's no range on there. I might have to cut down some trees, honestly. Like, I might, I might have to do that. So let's see what I can do. Um, I have a couple swords that I just don't need, you know. Oh, here's a boomerang I probably don't need, so let me just start start here. Alright, four hits of the boomerang. Got my acorns back. Alright. Uh, maybe this is enough. I don't know. Oh, there's some wood there. I just saw. Okay, well. There's your answer, sort of. Uh, ow. Hold on. Maybe this is the, a much better idea here. I cut down your trees for no reason. I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me. Then basically, I'm just gonna put this out here as far as it'll go, and then swim out there and hopefully I can just grab it. There you go. Oh, come on. And then put it this way. What? What indeed? <laughs> Gotta get that letter. Here it is for you. Uh. Huh? I told you, whatever you're after, I'm too busy, huh? Uh. That's my great grandpa's message bottle, but how did you? Uh. How, how did I indeed? Did you fish it out for me? Thanks. There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting our farm back on its feet. Let's see here. Yep, hmm, there we go. Gosh, do I miss great grandpa's handwriting. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. New specialty with mayor, cheese, fermentation, can't name too early. Oh. Yeah, this could work. Sorry to run, but I want to put great grandpa's advice into practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. All right. Hey. It's right over there, by the way. Come by a bit later so I can thank you for the help. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'll be good not to just not not just for our farm, but for the whole village. <laughs> I'm itching to get started. All right, updated a letter to Koyan. So Koyan's gonna be at the place or whatever. What are they doing here? What the heck? You guys look scary. 
guess I'll go in the house. What's up? Ah. Pastures are great, huh? They got so many cows. Ah. Yes, but only in, in Hatino Village are the cows as stylish as everywhere mm -hmm. else. Well, what do you say we get ourselves some milk? Should we ask the farmer or... Yeah, ask the farmer. Do whatever. Let me go in this place. All right. I knew it'd work. Ah, good you showed up. Take a look at this. <laughs> I call it Hatino cheese. That message my great-grandpa left behind had the recipe. It's springy on the outside but melty on the inside and so delicious. You'll think you'll 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 think you'll be dreaming. But back to the reason I called you here, it's, well, you know, I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. Oh. Anyway, consider this my thanks. Go on, take it already. I'm dripping. A Tino cheese. Great, thanks. Yeah. As I understand it, Great Grandpa worked with the mayor back then on this Tino cheese to put our village on the map. But it was ahead of its time. The villagers rejected it. Having eaten this, I think they were nuts. Now is the time for Hatino Cheese to make a splash in the culinary world. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately. It's really eating into our business. But if anything will bring the customers in, it's this. I'd say it's time to do some renovation around here. Maybe here is good. No, I like it better this way. Yeah, that'll work. Ta-da! The Hitino Cheese Shop is complete! What do you think? The next step is to get those folks over at the general store to start stocking it. That reminds me, you won't get this offer anywhere else, but around here I'll give you some fresh milk instead of rupees. Ah. I'll make the dream my, my great-grandpa gave up on come true, and this farm will be busier than ever in the bargain. <laughs> in the what? In the bargain? What? Okay. I think I misread that. So you'll come visit me again, right? Right indeed. So now we got a cheese shop here. And that's how you make a pizza. I can now make a pizza. I do want to make a pizza. Let's do that. Holy cow. Wheat, cheese, and tomatoes. I just want to make it a pizza. Welcome. Let me make it a pizza. <laughs> Wheat, cheese, and tomatoes. Making the pizza. Wow. <laughs> so, so if right here, if I want to do it, uh, I could do some fire fruit and just and just uh, make it a pizza with tomatoes hold I think I'm on fire right now and then uh, wheat I only have one wheat and then cheese where's cheese there you go cheese we're gonna make it a pizza What do we got? <laughs> Highly in tomato pizza. Nice. All right, cool recipe idea. Up here, I guess, is the research lab, which I need to go to for the sake of Robbie. Oh, way up there, holy cow. Uh, what says this? Of course, it's a Korok. Oh, the beach is over there. Of course, there's a Korok. Where do you need to go? Somewhere far away, probably. I need to reach my friend. Yeah. Oh, my friend and I got separated. That's so far. All right, so I can yeah. I can get there. If I just, you know, again. I, oh, well, what is this all about? There's this here. What else do you want me to use? Okay, you know, this one won't be so bad. Uh, this one won't be so bad. Uh, <laughs> because I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna I'm just gonna make uh, this thing again There we go And then just kind of put him up here Here we go He's really not that far I could have probably just barreled down there, you know, but that's okay. I'll need to come back eventually, right? And I, I bet you anything, there's some caves around here that'll be interesting to get to, but, you know. These palm trees are pretty tall looking. Boom! 
Where'd you go? Yeah. We're just in time for the sunset. Thank you for the Korok seeds. Okay, so I'm gonna fly back, basically. I mean, I guess I don't have to fly back. What's all this? It's just like a wreck. There's a, to whoever finds this letter, you gotta help me out. I was fishing when I got caught in a storm and had to run into a nearby cave to take shelter. Just when I started to dry off, this big rock came down and trapped me in here. I managed to get some bright bloom seeds through a gap and into the water as a sort of marker. If I'm lucky, the seeds will blossom and the tide will take this letter and the flowers to shore. If you're reading this, it must have worked. So whoever you are, I got a favor to ask. Could you follow the trail of bright blooms back to the cave and get me out of here? A bottled cry for help. I suppose I could. Uh, the It's probably over there, right? But I don't really have... Uh, Will this thing float is going to be the real question. I don't know if it will, but seems like kind of a long journey all the way over there. I bet there's a shrine over there, honestly. Now, I just know that it's it's over there, right? Like, there's no way it's not over there. This is a long journey. Unless, unless I'm wrong about where this is going. Oh, I think we're headed this way. Oh, see, I thought it would be over there. But now we're headed this way. Interesting. Okay, let's relax down here for a second, if we can. Ow. Hey, there's a battery. What is that? Uh... I don't know if the battery will work on here. It might just be too heavy. Well, let's find out. I'll just kind of stick it right there. Okay, let's head out this way then. We got the bright bloom seeds. We got a battery. Wow, yeah, it's nighttime now. Is this anything? What is this? More batteries. This looks very close to where, uh, is there a shrine over this way? Here, let me just, uh, let me, let me dock over here. I know there's an enemy there, but let me just kind of get down here. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see you. Don't do it. <laughs> I thought he was about to shoot me. All right, that was fun. Let's get back on this and try to, uh, yeah, this thing is so picky with uh, uh, letting it mount you, uh, letting you mount it on like a, uh, you know, on a, on a curve, basically. It's not in the plan sometimes. All right, so we're going this way. I mean, man, we've really gone far. We can stick to the shorelines if we want. What's up here? Oh, the sign guy, hold on. Hey, buddy, I see you way up here. Let's help you out. This sign is a real nightmare. Look at that. What the heck? All right. We are in the middle of the night doing this, I guess, so. Uh, let's just bring some stuff down, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a blood moon coming up. All right. Perfect. 
<laughs> I'm gonna laugh if this holds up. He's not talking to me. I just wanna see what happens. Try letting go. It's probably gonna fall over to the right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. We understand. So, uh, let's see. So, yeah. Um, you know, part of me thinks... Part of me thinks that this would kind of work. I don't know if that would still fall. Maybe, probably. Let me go go make kind of a wedge. It's one of my favorite ways to kind of hold on to something. No, that's too far. Alright, I'm not so sure if that'll fall. Maybe it'll fall. Let's see. It still might fall to the right. Does that count? He's standing. I, don't, I can't believe that counted, so I'm glad it counted. The blood wound's about here. Let's let him give me the stuff. They want to make this cave rescue. All right, red rupee. What else we get? <laughs> Electro, yeah, shock resistance, good. And a muddle bud. Let's let the blood moon ah. happen. Every so often, it has to happen. And then I'll just ride off in the glory here. All right. Here we go. Good luck on your signs, my friend. Uh, where are the markers for this? Where are the bright bloom seeds? There we go. You can kind of see a trail. Yeah, you can see the trail. It was not just a bright bloom. It's, there's a trail here, too. So let's uh, go in here. What's this? Oh, that's a, that's a cork. These are fun. Ow. I'm gonna, you know, I'm probably not gonna keep this, but I will put it up here just because it'll help me uh, ride off. Let's go. No, <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> All right, uh, here. Yeah, that alone is not enough to do it, so. All right, like I said, I'm not gonna be keeping this. But I will put a rocket on it if you want me to. I, I want to. Um, I'm gonna guess it doesn't really matter which way this goes. <laughs> All right, another Korok. We're doing good things. And then now we're going to check this out. This is looking good. There's a cave over here, right? Did I, I didn't miss it. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, let's get up here for a second so I can rest. Supposed to have probably taken a boat into this cave, so. I'll leave one. <laughs> yeah, so, ugh, I did not bring a boat. Oh, it's a shame. But the good news is I can probably kind of climb, like if I just rest for a second. Yeah. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to just climb. Maybe, maybe, maybe I won't be able to turn this, you know? 
Maybe I will. My main goal here, yeah, discovery. Maple Point Cave. And then, you know, I know I'm losing a day right here doing this. Or a night is what I mean. I'm losing one of the nights that I could have been spying on CC. There we go. Alrighty, so what's the deal? What's the deal? We got Bright Bloom. We got, uh... Let's use some of these up. A lot of Bright Bloom. And there's also going to be someone in here. And don't forget the Booble, because that's uh, an important part of this. Got a hearty truffle. That's cool. Valuable. Yep. Nice. So someone's living around here. I don't know who it's going to be who's living around here, but someone's living here. And I probably got to move this rock. And I could probably do it by just like, you know, picking one of my swords and being like, hey, just use this. There we go. But let's continue using some of these other things. Oh, there they are. <laughs> it can't be. Whoa, who are you? You know what? I don't care. If you're here, then I'm saved. Ugh, I've been stuck in here for ages. Did you find my message in a bottle and come to rescue me? It really worked. I knew it was a long shot, but it was worth it. After what went down in Luralin Village, I couldn't exactly refresh my stock of fish, so I went out to try to catch my own. That's when a storm kicked up. I tried to shelter in this cave, but I got shut in. Aww. Yeah, things were pretty bad for a while, but look at me now. That bottle really turned things around. If this lucky streak keeps up, it's got to bode well for business. Oh. Here, this is for you. I picked it up off the ground here in the cave. That sounded better in my head. It's a nice reward, honest. I was planning to take it home with me once I got out. Whoa, silver rupees. Ah. I really owe you a little reward's the least I could do. All right, thank you. Mm. All right, I'm out of here. If our paths ever do cross again, you should buy some fish off me. Mm -hmm. Oh, this isn't the time to play the peddler, huh? Anyway, thanks again, and so long. All right, there we go. And I also got a big hearty truffle. So it seems to me though that this this is a cave like any other cave. There's gonna be uh, you know, a thing in here. And I gotta figure out where that thing is going to be the, that has the booble gem. Honestly, at this point, I just like saying booble. Uh, there we go. There we go. Look at it right there. Uh, let me ascend. Right there. Boom. Sticky it in. Okay, there we go. Boom. Gotcha. Booble gym. Dang. I thought maybe it would work. But it didn't work. Uh, I mean, this is a pretty nice building here. What the heck? I, 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 I have ton, a ton of these seeds. I almost have too many of these seeds. All right, let's head out. I'm gonna go down the other one. Got a sticky lizard. All right, but really, I need to travel. I've, I've quite found my way. 
around here. I need to travel back to the shrine in, in Hitino to finish up the Hitino stuff, because I still got stuff to do in Hitino, including uh, going to the ancient lab, including doing this whole mayor thing, spying on CC at night, though. It's almost morning. I might, that might be why I would use the inn, uh, but, you know. To pass the time. And I don't remember if my house is in this village. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm totally at a loss. I thought it was, but now I'm just not so sure because I haven't stumbled upon it. Or I, or I you know, if, if I have had a house here, I don't remember where it is. Anyway, we're headed back up to the tech lab over here, right? It's morning. Oh, we're actually close to the ring village. That's or the ring ruins. That's cool. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah. I know where we are. Hey, buddy. What do you want with an old man? Here's a shroom. I didn't know you were an old man. You say this is from Cece? Well, that's generous of her. Thanks. What's this? That's a fine looking mushroom you brought me. Seems like lately Cece's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. Makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy colors wherever I turn. My family and all my friends my age tend to take life slower than she does. Still, in all, it'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. So this is, this is the cheese shop, right? Yeah. I didn't know there was, yeah, there it is. Well, I found that guy, good. I think I have like two more mushrooms left to deal with. And, um, this might be a traveler, so. Let's go to the lab, I guess. Fresh off the hook. What was over here? The beach, that's right. So we that's where we found the uh, the dude. There's that there's that look at that dragon. Is that Zelda? I, oh god. Not the first time I fell down off a cliff looking at a woman. Uh let's go back up. Alright. That's the lab that we gotta get Robbie to. And, uh, let's see. And I suppose once I deal with whatever is going on over here, he'll want to come this way too, right? Ateno Ancient Tech Lab. There you go, welcome. Ah, what a pleasant morning. Hey, you! The Puripad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that Puripad. This will only take a moment. One and a two and a three and a four. I got the sensor. It reacts when I'm close to Shrines of Light that you have not yet visited. If you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should find the shrine. Dunzo! Now the sensor will make it make a sound if, you're, if there are shrines near you. Great. All right, now that I've installed that sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab to test out how it reacts? All right, sure enough, I will. Look at these. Look at this place. So it's been a while since I've been here. What? Okay, this is just to go grab some books, I guess. All right. Hey, you, wh where are you going? I need you to finish testing the sensor. Come back here, will you? Walk around the lab. It's, it's making noise. I hear it. No, I don't. I, I, it is, it is, it is making sound. Can I leave? What, what are you doing to me? I'm raw. I, I'm walking around. Yeah, it works. <laughs> what do I do? 
I don't I don't know what to do with it. Dude, I don't know. I thought I feel like I'm testing it just fine. Oh. Okay, cool. What's this? The sensor that I installed on your pure pad is reacting to something right here and now. It reacts when you're moving towards the shrine. That sensor must be detecting a shrine down the slope in front of the lab. Is there really one that close by? There must be because my creations are perfect unless they got broken in some way. Now, why don't you go check out down the slope in that direction the sensor was indicating? All right, I will. This way? Oh, there we go. I now see that. Bird egg. Uh. <laughs> discovery. So first up, there's a cave in here. And then second up, there's probably a shrine. Unless there's not a shrine. In which then, ah, there's the shrine. There's the shrine. I get it, I get it, it's right here. Maya Hissick Shrine. So, um, let's go in. See what's inside this shrine, see what kind of challenge I need to do. And, uh, yeah, I don't know when we're going to get the tower done. Nice, a blessing, a Raru's blessing. Thank you, dear Raru, for this blessing of yours. All right, Magic Scepter. This is what I like. A light of blessing. And then uh, I guess I'll go back and visit old Robbie. Tell him, hey, it's working. The thing you made for me is working. Much appreciated, Robbie. And then, uh, oh, but first we gotta find the booble gem, of course. Don't let me forget. So many spirits follow me around. So there's this, which is interesting because I think this is a different entrance to the cave. But this is a cave, so, you know. Wait, is there a shrine on top of this, too? Oh, no, that's just green from a tree. Don't mind me. All right, so there was a shrine. I like these truffles in these caves. And there you are, little buddy. Boom! Excellent. And then uh, now I think I'm just going to ascend <laughs> out of here and go back to the tech lab. I think it's up here. Oh, dear. It takes so much stamina just to... Look at that. Okay. Something's falling from the sky right there. The tech lab is up here. I just don't want to lose like all my stamina trying to make it and then not make it. You know what I mean? So let me get a little bit closer, then I'll make the leap. Uh oh. Next one. Yes. I gotta wonder what's up here really quick. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, what, what's in here? This is where Robbie sleeps, I suppose. There's the... Wow. 
than what's up here. Is this where Pyrrha used to be? Or whatever, yeah, I don't know. Examine. Yeah, Pyrrha's diary. Yes, I can't wait to read Pyrrha's diary. I grew frustrated with being treated like a child, so I resumed my age booster experimentations in earnest. The anti-aging device reversed more than 100 years in an instant, so I reflected on that result and moderated the output. When I cautiously exposed myself to its rays, I returned to my 20-year-old form. Nice. Just as I had hoped. Success. I'm so happy that I can once again reach high places without using a jetpack. My 20-year-old body doesn't suffer from sleepless nights researching, and what's more, my skin is perfect, no complaints. Three volumes of my diary are hidden away now. I'll place the last one at the northeastern edge of Akala. The lab there is perfect for hiding things. It's such a remote location, I'm sure no one will ever come across it. All right, so that's one of her diaries. So one is in the, one is in where? Remember, uh, viewers, remember that for me, please. <laughs> Northeastern of Akala or something, right? Have I even got that area? Hold on one second. Have I even... Wait. I'm in the right spot. Map. Yeah, up here. I haven't been up here. So, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. It's just a matter of time that I explore this whole place. There's a Tenno. Let's go back to visit Robbie, of course. Oh, there's, oh, there's one of those uh, guardians on top of there. That's pretty cool. All right, Robbie, it works. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> My design of the sensor is beyond perfection. Just listen to its sounds and you'll find your way to that nearby shrine. I did, I did. Oh. What, you found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. Anyway, how about that sensor handy, huh? I'd expect nothing less from me. Oh. Well. I've told you uh, what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So hang on a minute. All right, what are you gonna do now? That's interesting. Okay, the details look correct and I'll post it right here. Yep, very good. Right, okay, I get it, I know how it works. There you go, the operation instructions for the sensor. Now you can review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. <laughs> now it, you begin to see the true potential of, of the PuraPad, but I'm nowhere near done yet. I created new features for that device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features. You can get them on your PuraPad at any time. That is, with some help for, from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy that sensor, and until then, uh, 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 okay, a taste of great things to come. Until then. Let's make it truly great. Hey, you. Uh, we have more work to do. Your PuraPad is nowhere near its full capability yet. The PuraPad will be even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential ones, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. There's also Hero's Path Mode. It shows where you've traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more than shrines. Your PuraPad will be perfect once I've installed all of those. But first, I'll need you to gather some test data so I can fine tune my prototypes. So let's get to work on that pad. Just talk to me anytime you'd like to get started on any of these. How about the... Sure, travel medallion. The travel medallion feature is quite exceptional. It lets you travel instantly to a gate you've established elsewhere. Uh, but we're, we're, we're going to have a little bit of extra challenge with all of this. Come on now, give me your pure pad for a moment. All right, so what's, what's the real trick to this? Okay, yeah, I gotta go there. That's fine. The Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where my prototype of the Travel Medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. So eventually I'll get there. Obviously not this episode. Uh, I, I go there. I, go, I gotta read that diary too, by the way. I, I'd go there. I, I'd go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I like to have you, with all your great talents, go there and fetch my Travel Medallion prototype. To speed this journey along, well, the return journey anyway. Hmm, where was that thing? Aha, here it is, here it is. Ah, nice, so he's gonna activate that. Great, I love that fast travel point, that's cool. All right, I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your own way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype in a chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Presenting the travel medallion. Want to hear anything else about my inventions before you rush off? Your pure pad will grow to its full potential. Yeah, what about the hero's path mode? 
Hero's Path Mode is an outstanding addition if you do a lot of investigating. Truth is, there's a tracking feature installed on the Pura Pad. Hero's Path Mode lets you see this feature on screen. It's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. But before I can install the prototype perfectly, I'll need to get data from 15 shrine locations from you. Uh, okay. I have that, I think, right? What? You've got the data? Hurry up and let me see that Pura Pad. All right, that's cool, that's cool. We can see everywhere I've been. Just a moment. Hero's Path Mode. 256 hours of gameplay, wow. Uh, I don't think I have that much yet, do I? All right, great. And then the other thing is, uh, okay, operating instructions, sure. Sure, Hero's Path Mode. Uh, I still need, what is the other thing? Uh, what about Sensor Plus? What is that all about? Excellent, very good thinking. Being curious about this feature, it allows you to pinpoint the location of more than shrines, many more things. That's why it's called Sensor Plus. You select what you want from my compendium, but I can't add my prototype without some extra data. So you need to fill out uh, your compendium with at least five types of monsters. I don't think I've done that, have I? Uh, it's hard to get data on monsters without putting yourself at risk. You'll need a careful approach or a quiet one. Though you could grab their attention any old way you want and snap a picture on the fly, then you'll have your data. I want to hear anything else about my inventions before you rush off. Your pure pad... Yeah, so I don't have that yet. Maybe later. What you're leaving already? Well, keep in mind that your pure pad can be truly perfect. So how many monsters do I have in my compendium right now? I mean, I don't even know. Heroes path mode. Just press X. There you go. That's a cool path right there. So this is... Uh, the sky, that's cool, and there's the, uh, the underground there, I guess. Yeah, I haven't been much, oh man, this is a band. Man, I tell ya. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Wow, okay, this is, I'm just taking it all in, wow. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, that was a shrine over there, huh? All right, well, um, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of enamored by this. Let's just toggle that off, I guess. Can I just, oh, well, it's going to play it. No, I don't need it played. Uh, yeah, compendium, though. Uh, so five monsters from my compendium. I have creatures. I need monsters, right? I don't have any. I haven't taken photos of any. That's fine. Equipment. I haven't taken... I'm, there's no way I'm going to fill it. Let's be real, guys. I'm not going to be able to fill up this compendium. There's just no way. There's just no way. <laughs> but that's okay. We do have things to do. What are you guys doing here? I'm going to chop them all up and eat them. That's what I'll do. Uh, so let's head back to the village. And this thing will be beeping now whenever I get close to a shrine or whatever. And uh, so we're talking about the Tino village. There's the well, there's a the school. We still got more school things to do. Um. Maybe I'll do all the school stuff next episode. Is that my house over there? Dude, that's my house over there. Right? I think so. Let's just uh, dive in to where... Where was I going here? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. There we go. Um, they're fashionable. They're fashionable. Fashionable. Haven't done the spy mission yet. Go right in. Good day. Welcome to Hateno Village here for some sightseeing. The East Wind General Store is open for business. If you're here for Hateno Village's famous fresh produce, you're in the right place. Or if you like the super cute CC hat. Yeah, I gotta go there. You can hit the store across the way. Ventus Clothing. They're featuring a new line of hats right now. Thanks to CC, the village is the place to be. She's drawing in so many tourists that our sales are going up too. CC's putting our village on the map. What do you like? 
Huh? What do I like? Where did that come from? Uh, Ooh. maybe frogs? Sure, why not? I like frogs. If I had a hundred hot-footed frogs, I would be incredibly happy. Oops, I can't think of anything, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. Great. That's, is that a, uh, Manny, what's Manny's beloved? What the heck was that? Oh, yeah, a hundred, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. <laughs> I was like, what are they talking about? But then I remember, are these regular? Yes. <laughs> There's nothing in them though, so I'm just destroying property for the for the sake of it. Lots of little rocks in here. There's a frog. No, no. Give me that frog. Now I don't, I'm not gonna have a hundred, by the way. But now I have to tell now I have to tell that guy that she likes a hundred hot-footed frogs. The guy's gonna be like, okay, I'll get him. I mean, is he gonna want me to get 100? Because I'm gonna be so mad if I get 100 because I pass up so many of them. Oh, I've already given. Is, he, is that a kid? Is Miss Zelda back yet? That's a kid. All right, 100 frogs, my dude. Oh, I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but what were you doing with Miss Ivy from the general store? Sure, I noticed. I've been checking her out for a long... I mean, a friend of a friend. So, this guy's like a stalker, and I'm helping out a stalker. You went and asked what Miss Ivy likes? Right to her face? What's the idea? Oh, gotta play it smooth. Can't let him guess I'm the one dying to know. All right, then. So what was it? What does Miss Ivy want? I can't leave my friend's friend hanging. 100 frogs. She wants hot-footed frogs and 100 of them at that? Yeah, that checks out. Miss Ivy's love for animals is just one of the many charming things about her. Or so uh, my friend's friend is always saying. That was a close one. I better play it smooth. Still, collecting 100 hot-footed frogs seems like a big job even for someone you love. Oh. But not if I had help. You traveler types go into wells and caves all the time, right? That's just the kind of place where you find frogs. You don't even have to go far. Did I hear about a bunch of frogs in a well somewhere in the village? Maybe I should check that out later. What? I didn't say anything. Haha, <laughs> look. Look, let's focus on helpful it would be if you gathered 10 of those frogs. Oh. Hey, buddy, do I hear the faint croaks of little frogs? Specifically 10 hot-footed... Yeah, here's some frogs. You can get the rest, please. Please. <laughs> uh-huh, ten frogs all accounted for. Allow me to take those off your hands. And as promised, here's your reward. I'm just a weirdo carrying around frogs. I got ten rush rooms. Nice, I guess it's up to me to collect the rest. How I've been dreaming of a date with my beloved Miss Ivy. That's why I, Manny, will check every well in sight. Uh-oh, no coming back from this one. <laughs> that's why I, Manny. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, the one with the crush. All right, this has got to be my house up there, right? If it is, I'll check that out kind of last. I want to see if there's any peoples down here. There we go. No, that's a stylish person right there. That guy knows what he's t talking about. But let me talk to him because I haven't talked to him yet. Oh. It's Knack. Be right there. Hang on just a sec. Oh, oh I, I was sure you were Mayor Reed coming to talk for a bit. Did all this fashion business bring you to town too? Before, folks came to Hateno Village for the veggies, but now they show up for that gaudy get-up CC makes. So which are you after? Neither. If you're not here for neither of those, then maybe you want Hateno's famous die shot by the bridge? Oh, but some folks come around looking for the research lab way atop of the hill to the east, too. Anyway, what you see here is me trying to come up with a new kind of veggie, but I haven't had much luck thus far. Still, if I quit so soon, I'd be a poor excuse for a farmer, wouldn't I now? All right, knack. Paddywhack. Nick knack paddywhack. That's what I would call him. Uh, What's over here? Any people who are unfashionable in here who need a mushroom? Not that I can see. I still need to give someone some mushrooms. I'm missing somebody. I don't know who, but I'm missing somebody. And at night, I gotta spy on Cece herself. What am I gonna do? Well, I can wait. That's one option. I can wait. So this is the entrance to the village. Wait, this is a person? No. Nope. <laughs> I thought that was a person. It's a kid. You there, friend or foe? Halt and identify yourself, suspicious guy. I'm not suspicious. Oh, you're not? Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's greeting. Uh, how did it go again? You've come to Ateno Village, home of the fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around, and we're at the forefronts of fashion. Did I say that right? My dad would have known. Too bad he's still a lookout landing. All right, I think this is my house. I didn't realize it was at the front of the neighbor. I mean, like, 
I got things so twisted around. It's been forever since, it's been like literal years since I've been here. And so I just don't really remember some of the stuff that I maybe should remember. Maybe I didn't go in the general store, did I? Hello, hey, hiya. So you're selling arrows, pumpkins. I, you know, I might buy some arrows. What is this, butter? Goat butter. I could use some wheat. I'm all out of wheat because I made a pizza. But I don't know if there's any wheat here. That's rice, right? What do you guys have? Oh. Our little East Wind General Store carries all of Hateno, Hateno Village's local specialties. Ever since CC set up shop in the place across the way, Hateno has made a name for itself with fresh fashion. Before that, though, there was a farming community from way back. We're still a self-sufficient little burg. We'll eat what we harvest and sell the rest. Huh. I'll tell you what, if you haven't lived until you tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Hateno Pasture, head on up to the pasture when you get a minute. You'll be glad you did. That wraps up the sales pitch, I oh. figure. Uh, What's that hat? I know what that hat is. But what does he say? Oh, this? Cece made it. She set up shop in the place across the way. She left a long while back to practice her craft, but she perfected it and came back as a famous fashion designer. Now CC Fever is sweeping the village. You can't throw a rock without hitting someone wearing this hat. Ugh. I don't know the first thing about fashion myself. My wife, Amira, cares so much more about that stuff. Ooh. Anything else? No. Oh. No, but I will buy some arrows, honestly. I'm always running low. Oh. I might as well just buy them all. I'll buy them. Oh. All right, oh. great. Only 60 rupees, worth it, probably, maybe not. Yeah. Good job, hi. You guys are fashionable. You're technically fashionable, right? My house! Up here, I bet. I think this is my house, right? Look at that flag. What does this say? Dream of owning your own home? Come down to Terrytown and Nikala. We'll build, yeah, I remember Hudson Construction. Okay, so, I think my house, look at all these frogs. Did I go into a well over here? I don't think I did. This might be a separate well. I think my house is over there. Hey, you're not fashionable. Here's a, here's a, I... Clavia, good day. <laughs> you ought to be my guest and instead I end up asking you for favors. Sorry about that. But you were a huge help, thank you. If only that man could be more forthright. He takes everything so seriously that he sometimes doesn't know how to open up. Uh... No one knows him like me, so it's up to you. Okay, yeah, so she's not, I can't, she doesn't want me to give him to family, so. That's that, let me take a look at this house. I remember this area now. Now that, now that I see it, I remember it. Any notes to read? Any diaries? Gotta get up to a call to read her diary. What if she wrote about me? Do you think she wrote about me? I am curious about this well, because I don't know that. Here, let me see if I can sneak up to this frog. I mean, I gotta replace my frog stock. I had to give away 10 of them. I haven't been in this well. All right, let me drop down. I like that you get bomb flowers. Now this is just a well, so I don't expect, you know, there to be boobles. Is this not the same thing? Oh, wait, I, oh. I, so I have been here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, but I guess they have missed some of it, I guess. Wait, this guy, wait, what? Maybe I haven't been here? I'm so confused. No, this guy's... Uh-oh. I feel like I've been here, but maybe not. I swear I've been here. Maybe I haven't been here. Let me go the other way. Maybe I just haven't discovered, maybe I just didn't discover this particular well. This all looks familiar, you know? Doesn't this, yeah, I, th yeah, there used to be a chest here, right? There you go, how about that? Give me your eye balls. All right, let me just go up. All righty. There's a lizard over there, what is that? An Octorock? What is that? Oh no, that's down there. I want this lizard. All right. Let's get back to it, to see my house. It's almost nighttime, it's almost time to go and spy. I wonder when at night though. 
Maybe I'll get, uh, it's almost, I mean, time flies by so fast. Here, let's go look at my house really quick. Or let's look in here and see if there's anyone in here. I'm still trying to find how many more people are left in this mission here. Uh, this would be, we're looking at main quest, side quests. CC secret, team CC. Two left, dang. I don't know, I gotta find two more people in this village? I mean, where would they be hiding? But yeah, this is this is definitely my house. I remember it very well. Now that I'm here, at least. What is that over there? Oh, it's a Korok who needs help. Hey, look, it's time to go spy, I think. Let me, let me, I'll be, I'm gonna go figure out when to spy, because nine o'clock to me sounds like nighttime. I mean, just like the, you know, so let's see if that's the case. I don't know if I'm gonna need stealth or what. Let me see if she's in here. Uh -huh. No, we didn't forget the mission. I got two more. Two villagers. Uh -huh. All right, so... Everything's fine. All right. So how, how do I get her to, to leave this area so I can spy on her? I don't know at what time is considered nighttime. I almost think I'll need to take a stealth potion or something. Hi, hold, what? Let me check the adventure log again. All right. All right, what time does she leave? There she is. Okay. Does she see me? I mean, I'm on the roof. I didn't know she'd be coming this way. Where's she going? There she is. I swear. All right, where is she? All right, she's going in here. Am I supposed to confront her about this? I mean, she just went across the street. Alone at last. All right, uh, so let me. All right, that's, sure, sure, you know what, fine. Here, let me, uh... let me sneak in this way. So I've already been in here is the funny thing. All right, what's she up to? Perfect, I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. No. Ah, how I enjoy my nightly vegetables. The shine, the luster, the fragrance, yes indeed. Now this is luxury dining. <laughs> and so without further ado, let us tuck in. Okay. She's making munches and crunches. No. So scrumptious, the crisp smooth taste is a sign they were grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hatuno Village simply don't count. They're nowhere near as filling. Though I built a reputation on flash and glamour, here in private I must admit that the simple, unadorned uh, things are best. There's simply no denying it. Alas, 
But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. So I'll tell Sophie what I saw. It's not a huge deal, but it's just interesting. It's five in the morning. All right, Sophie. Here's what I saw. Did you learn anything? Yes, sorry about this. I know it's a tall order, but yeah. So here's what happened. Really, the silo across the way? What? I thought she'd be hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible. But between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hatino Village. She probably told you she came back here because of development or whatever. But the truth is she just wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her hometown again. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm so glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. I want you to have this in exchange for helping me out. Got some tin iron shrooms. Great. My sister really is a handful sometimes. Both she and Reed want the same things, you know. I can't understand why the two of them just don't work together instead of going to such bizarre links. All right, so CC secret complete. There's someone sleeping over here. Hey. Are you someone that needs needs fashion? Mm. Eek, he's talking to me, so uh, is there anything special to bring you to Hateno Village at this hour? All we have here are veggies, he sees fashion, and just those two things, really. So, you know, not much point in attacking our homes or anything. Oh, he's actually pretty handsome now that you get a good look. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask any questions. A bird egg. Wait, right, what about you swept me off my feet so fast that I gave you one of my prized eggs? No no more though. How can I ever forget? Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg. Easy. Is that, is that you say cuckoo, cucko? I don't know. Easy given, but easy to break. Please find it in your heart to forget what happened today. Okay, it's forgotten. I feel like you weren't getting what I was going for there. Way to kill the mood. Did you still need something? Have a shroom. You brought this from CC. Wow, uh, thank you. There's a lot of ways you can prepare mushrooms. They're tasty on their own too. I just like them, okay? But that's when they're food. When you make them, in the, when you make them fashion, you lose me. It wasn't so long ago that doing stuff like that was completely unheard of here. The farm families don't know what to make of it either. Can you blame them? All right, so I gotta find one more person who's gonna want, who looks just plain as can be, and will accept. A mushroom for me. I also gotta look at my house. Did I? I don't think I went over here. Did I go in? I don't think I went this way, this far. Anyone in here? Open up. There's a kid. Where are your parents? Anyone asleep upstairs who needs? The teacher didn't accept my stuff. I wonder if he would if I, if I see him when he's not in school. I don't know. That's my suspicion. Nothing suspicious. Oh, that's the kid who was keeping keeping track of things. I gotta find at least one more person here. So many frogs around living. I mean, that's a healthy environment then, right? That's gotta be what it means. Is that a kid? Yeah, that's a kid. Alright, let me go check out my house. Let me check out my house. My house is over here. And... It's been a long time. Like a really long time since I've been here. And so I'm excited to be back here. Wow, what the heck? Wait. This is my house, right? Whose house is this? Wait, I thought this was my house. What's going on here? This is not my house? I'm so confused. I thought this was my house. Is this not my house? 
I literally don't know what's happening. Oh yeah, that's my, that's a painting. Uh, that's that's from my last adventures, right? Yeah, this is my house. I don't know what the other pictures are for. The, uh, Zelda's house? I don't know. Someone's house. First page. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They had, they and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we built a school in Hateno Village. It's the largest Hylian village uh, with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. Oh, that's why you can't give him a thing, because he's research. He was Pura's assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in a Tino village before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. It's like, I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. So wait, where, where, this is my house, right? Sleep, I can sleep to whenever I want. I swear this is my house. Maybe I'm wrong. I I, th I thought I remember I used to have like weapons and stuff hanging up. But maybe this is Zelda's house now. I just don't know whose house this is anymore. I thought this used to be my house. Is this not my house? It's whatever. Is like a sign here or anything? There's another well. Zelda's secret well? Man, I but uh, that girl wants to know about all the wells. Do I give away Zelda's secret well location? Maybe. Oh yeah, this is nice. Bright bloom seeds and a treasure chest. I'm gonna take Zelda's treasure. A well-worn hairband. Sentimental. There's a couple frogs here. This is nice. What, is it, what does this say? Read, yeah, Zelda's diary. I'm reading lots of diaries today. Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. <laughs> That's why I put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. E uh, even he would never expect that the torches are the key. So I, did I have a new champion's tunic? I, didn't, didn't I find that already? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. 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 I didn't know that was his own quest, you know? Anyway, up here. I still got to find one more person who just, for whatever reason, I haven't seen yet. Oh, should I help this guy right now? I mean, I can build another bike and just take off, you know. Where is he? Where is he? Dang, dude, really? Oh, what the heck, dude, really? I mean, what am I supposed to do? That's a long way to travel. Uh, Let's build it, I guess. Build what I need to. You know, I don't. I really don't want to use the Zona Eye. Let me just use the actual items I have. And then I'll build it. I'm glad that it's like free when you have all the items. Let's get up there. 
Here we go. Up and at him. Oh, that's not that hot. That's not that tall. I thought it was really tall for some reason. All righty. Oof. All righty. Oh, oop. My bad. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Stop rolling down the hill. <laughs> Sorry, I got mad. I got so upset. I don't know why. And then what's up here? There you go. And then I know I need to get to core. I, I want to do all these memories first. Tomorrow will be another memory. And then, uh, wow, look at where I am now. Yeah, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. All right, let's go. This is my house. It's now Zelda's house or whatever, but it was mine at one point in time. Do you think if I climb that, there's a Korok at the top? That would be my guess, honestly. Ta-da! All these high points have Koroks. And then, uh, what is that down there? Oh. Uh. All right, let's see if I can find just one more unfashionable little person. That guy looks fashionable. He has the hat. It's noon. Go right in. Mumble, mumble. I don't think they're over here, but I could be wrong. But what about you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are, have I talked to you? Oh, it's Clavia. I have to go clean Princess Zelda's house now. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I guess. I don't care. It's raining. This guy doesn't have, no. All right, I'm gonna check the end again. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Fashionable. The guy came in, maybe because it's raining. But I've given him the mushroom already, so. Okay, let me talk to her. Maybe, I thought I talked to her already, but I don't, I don't know. Let's see if, I, if I've talked to her. Have I, so I haven't talked to her. She looks familiar. She look, okay, so anyway, good from Cece. Thanks for that. The world of fashion moves too fast for us old folks, but I'm in favor of any mayor who can make sure this village stays a place where the younger folk are happy to live. Okay, great. Great. So now I can return to... Okay, awesome. I, okay, I thought... It, it took forever, dude. I didn't... I thought... She looks very much like another old person in this, in this place, so I, that's why I got confused. But let's go visit Cece now and see what's going on with that. What's up? Open the door. Bring on the election. Ma. Oh, have you handed them out already? I have. Ma. Oh, we've delivered all my little gifts. I see. Well done. That ought to help a few of those Reed voters see the light. Here you are, a sign of my gratitude. Ma. Big hearty truffle. <laughs> it's a rare mushroom worth more than most can afford. Ma. As you as you're on Team CC, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up for the mayoral election coming up. Well, when, when's the election gonna happen? And what, what can I, can I buy anything here? Like, how do I go over here? I don't, how do I get a hat like that? Like, for real, how do I become fashionable so I can shop here? All right. Once the election begins in earnest, I hope you'll be on hand to witness my triumphant ascendance to public office. How do I shop here? Is there a way to shop here? I don't even know. Fashionable people only. 
Is there anything in here like worth buying? There's there's a couple of things, but it looks like they're not for sale. But maybe they are for sale. I don't know. I kind of wanted a hat, though I don't think I have. Hold on, let me see if I have a hat. Let me go. I don't think I have anything like that. I have this. I can wear this. I don't think that counts. <laughs> um, how fashionable do I have to be? Like, like, what if I'm just wearing like a full set of something? Like, was that fashionable enough? Like, hey, look, I'm dressed up like a full set. Only you have the nerve to address the great CC so casually. Do you need something? I want a CC hat. No. Ah, it shows great personal growth that you can recognize the quality of my most unique, luxurious design. However, this place is so special that I would go as far as to call it priceless. It's not for sale. The only way to part with it is to find someone meeting my personal approval. Where's your stock? Uh. Oh, you mean the clothes the, stop, the shop used to sell? Uh, what was it? The Royal Guard and the Hylian series? Ooh. I dispose of all that. There's no need for this shop to stock anything that doesn't meet my exacting fa standard for fashion. Unless and until I change my mind again, this shop is now the flagship location for the CC brand. Yeah. Be on your way then, and please, uh, pay the slightest bit of consideration to fashion. At least make the color your own. Try consulting this. Okay, so make the color my own. So if I, let's say I have, you know, like this, uh, this, this gear here that's all the same. And upgraded, by the way. Is this fashionable enough? You know, like, is it all good enough? I don't think I have a full set of anything. What about here? Is this fashionable? Uh -huh. All right, let me, let me try to change. Like, since I'm wearing this, let's try to dye this. I don't know what... I, okay, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just curious now at this point. Like, what do I do next? <laughs> hey, I got a favor to ask. Sure. It's not enough for me to just rework with fabric you bring me. I want to dye my hand at making my own patterns. Just like Cece, of course, hers are all original designs. And making fabric from scratch seems like a lot of hard work. But that's where you, which is where you come in. Could you cast around for some reference material I could use as inspiration? Hey. First, I'm thinking I want to see visuals of that monster they call Choo Choo. A Choo Choo. That kind of Choo Choo is everywhere, even just outside the village, but I'm too paint-hearted to get near them. I think if I could see a regular Choo Choo for myself, not a fire Choo Choo or a nice Choo Choo, it would help a lot. All right, photographing a Choo Choo. There's a Choo Choo in the well. and I Right? Or am I thinking about a different well? Let's see other quite I don't know. How do I dye this? Let me dye something really quick. Uh, I want to dye. I want to dye these clothes. Uh, please dye. All right, go wait up there just a minute. Do I get a choice on what to? How, what? All right, another great day to dye that whole outfit all at once. All right, choose your dye color or go ahead and change clothes. Choose a color. So this is cool. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I mean, let's let's dye this. I think I had, you know what? I feel like I've dyed this before in a previous game. Let's go with this red. This matches the red. Yeah, so let's do this. Five ingredients. What's common? Definitely nothing expensive. Uh, let's, let's just use, I mean, honestly, I feel like I could just use like all, just these. There we go. Okay, let's go. Hey! Thanks to the business. <gasps> Very similar to the previous game. I love that. And now look at me. That, you know, this might even be the exact same thing I did the previous game. I don't know if that's true, but I almost wonder if it is. I did find it palatable, so let's go see if, if CC likes me now. I mean, I dyed this and made it like special. Time to vote at last. Is it? Look, Amira, someone who forgot to put on his CC brand outfit today. 
Get with the times and put on some CC branded clothes already. How else will anyone know your loyalty to CC style? CC set up her own CC brand line. It proves what a fantastically avant-garde, charismatic designer she is. Why CC single-handedly set the tone for Atino Village's whole look. Ah! CC's shop is to the left. It's a stylish shop with a mushroom clothing decoration. I know, I want to. I really want to be part of this. Look. Let's see if she's impressed with this dye job. Uh, what? How do I do this? Where's your stuff? So how how do I meet? I I I thought I I thought I did good enough. Is that Sage's hand I detect in your outfit? I can always tell when someone has visited the Kochi Dye Shop. It is, but I mean like. What's up to her standards? Like, who knows? Who knows what's up to her standards? I really don't. And I don't know that I can... Huh. I I mean, I put, I put in, like, this trio of things, and that wasn't good enough. Huh. I'm perplexed. I really am. I need to figure it out, though. And maybe, I mean, maybe this episode's not even the episode to do it in. I don't know. It's not even. It's not, I don't think it's even a mission, is it? I don't know. Let me. Uh, let me go see what I can do. Maybe I'll scan some amiibo and, and end up with a full set. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Be right back. All right. Apparently, I need to go back in here to start a quest or do something. Yeah, I didn't do this. Dang. There's just no time. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at the Ventus Clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Uh, yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way I behaved. But don't you worry about me. I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve against Cece. I might not be able to pull one of them off in time for the mayoral election. So I'm focusing on the second plan, to bring back a taste that's no one tried here in years. What kind of taste? Uh, Way back when, my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run, but I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall the gooey mouthfeel of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make a signature staple of, of this village. If I could accomplish that, then I'd have something that I could stand up to Cece. Except I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with or what they created. And now that I think of it, it also had a unique pungent scent. Is that, is that the cheese that I was just dealing with earlier? If I could just smell that aroma again, it might jog my memory. Yeah. You have to excuse me. I have things I need to take care of. Please don't worry about my problems and just have a nice, relaxing time in our village. Have you tried the fresh milk they make up at the farm in the hill? Having a glass is a nice way to unwind before bed. So it's surely the cheese, right? Because, I mean, like, we just thought, thought about it or talked about it, whatever. This is the cheese. It's got to be the cheese. It's up here, right? Where is it? It's like... Is it this way? There's a school. How far up do I go to get... I don't remember where this farm was, but it was like up here or something. And If it's not up here, then it was up there or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a cheese shop now, and I can buy some cheese maybe and bring it to... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I imagine that's how I'll die in real life. I'll just be like walking and something gets swept up in a river. <laughs> just like, I don't know. That'd be my luck. It's like some, something ridiculously simple. <laughs> so like just like some, some just accident. Where uh, is the cheese shop is up here, right? Like am I, I'm, I'm not going the wrong way, am I? Yeah, okay, great. Whoa, look at them all out. Whoa, they're all... Here, cheese shop. I need some more. I I, I used the other cheese to make pizza for some reason because I saw the recipe on the board. I love the idea. I love pizza in real life. Welcome. Thanks to you, my great-grandpa's dream of a uniquely Hatino cheese wasn't lost. I'm really and truly grateful for that. This, Yeah, I want some. I want some. Fresh milk is a trade. Uh, let, Let's trade. Sure. Sure, yes. There you go, Hatino cheese. Let's get out of here then. I'm only a one-woman cheese-making operation, but stay as long as you like. I'm good, leaving already. Be sure to visit again. I might. So many of these guys here. I don't want to just blow them all up and get some chicken. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, I don't have tooling with me. Uh, wait, where is this dude's house? It was down here, right? 
Uh, right over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Finally. Okay. I really think this is the same exact armor and probably same color that I did last time. Where is he? Is he asleep? He might be asleep. Wake up, dude. I got you the, the where is where is he? Dude, what is he sleep up here? Anything up here? Any diaries to read? I don't know what this. Oh wait, he's he's in here working on his working on his uh, cheese or something, right? Uh, all right. I guess I gotta go surprise him. <laughs> all right. I don't remember this is where. Wow, it's already blocked off again? Um, well here, I don't I don't have to use them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Here. Photo. Someone was wanting a photo of this. Choo choo. And who was wanting that? Oh yeah, the, the dude. Ow. Alright. It was like around here. Yeah, another one. Oh yeah, let's pick up the jelly. I knew there was some down here. And last of the jellies. I think it was right here, maybe, that, uh, you know, you could just go. He's going to be like, whoa, what are you doing here? I'm like, hey, I got you the cheese that you wanted. <laughs> of all the, what are you doing here? This is private property. I don't know what hole you crawled in from, but there are some sensitive secrets here that might save our village. Outsiders should stay outside. He's mad, dude, but I have the cheese for you. Dang, now I just gotta wait until the morning. I guess what I could do is I could go over here. I mean, I could always go sleep in a bed too, but now I have uh, the choo-choo picture for this guy. And really, if I get like four more enemies photographed, then, then I'll be able to get like my sensor upgrade. Did you bring me? Yeah, here's. I have a new reference of the choo choo pattern here. I don't know what he's going to do with it, but sure. Look at that. Oh, so that's a choo choo. <laughs> I can feel the inspiration bleeding into reality. I'll start developing this pattern at once. I mean, does anyone really want a choo choo pattern for, for whatever? <laughs> All tone. With your help, I, I, make, I made a very pretty pattern. You can have the fabric I worked up as a thanks. So it's choo choo fabric. That's interesting. <laughs> I knew I'd get a different result with some quality reference. I bet you I could make other patterns too. Oh, there's a whole bunch of patterns. Horse. Oh, wow. That's just a lot. That's just a lot. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of them, right? Where, where is the list of that? So that, that part's complete. But where's like a full list? Where... Uh, is that like, is that, hold on. Is it here? I mean, he wants a bunch more. That, you know, that's something for later, honestly. Like, I cannot just like hang out here and I can't, I can't just spend my time going and, you know, taking photos of, 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 all those things right now. I know he wants cuckoo or whatever. Cuckoo or whatever they're called. And he also wanted a horse. I have a photo of a horse, but it's a golden horse. I don't know if that counts. There's a golden apple. There we go. So, um, really all I need to do is kind of pass the time. 
at the inn, maybe? I guess I could. You know what? Let's just do it. I don't know where the next, the closest thing is. Let's sleep away. Let's just sleep really nicely. Uh, to right, let's do a soft bed until morning, because I need to. I need to talk. I mean, it's not a long sleep. It's only like a few hours, really, until morning. But the thing is, is I nice little melody, and so um, everyone's here. Five a.m. Wow, got one heart. Safe travels. Thanks. Um, sure, it was nice and soft bed. It was a soft bed, nicely done. Oh, yeah, then up here. Hopefully, this guy's in his house. He's not so angry at me. Because I have the cheese. Sniff, sniff. You smell it? What Am I smelling things? Or do I detect a certain unique pungent aroma? Have some cheese. This is it. This is what I've been looking for. My grandfather developed it with a fellow villager. Oh. A tin of cheese, of course. It makes sense that my grandfather would have worked, been working with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koyan not only found the recipe, but managed to reproduce it. <laughs> but this is great news. It's a clear sign that we ought to make a tin of cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Let me pay you for the cheese, okay? Silver rupees. That's a good deal. Ah. Believe me, it's worth every rupee now, then. I should get in touch with Koyan so we can start preparing for mass production. I'll ask the Hatino Village General Store to start traveling and some traveling merchants to add it to their wares, too. <laughs> Shouldn't take much more than that to tip the election my way. You should come out and watch it watch it happen. So that's complete. Oh. The mayoral election begins soon, if I remember right. Thanks to you, I should have be a shoe in to win. I think I'll head out to meet Sophie soon. All right, great. So the mayoral election is happening where? Just uh, mayoral elections, you know, just just over here. Okay, let's go check that out then. Where is the mayoral election happening? Right here. It's almost time. Everything's ready. It's time to get the election for village mayor started in the rain. Or it would be anyway if not for the rain. We'll start as soon as the rain lets up, so come see me then. <laughs> so now I have to wait for the rain? <laughs> what? How am I even supposed to handle that? Like, it's raining. What do I do? I literally don't know what to do when it's with the, with the rain here. The only thing I can think to do to, is either stay another night at the inn or go try to take photos of enemies, which would probably work, honestly. Because I need four more to get one of the things in the pad upgraded, but really like how much of a rush is there to get five, I don't even know. I don't even know. The fire's out there. How how far do you think I'll have to go before I see like one enemy? There are my, gosh, they, I guess they just don't spawn. What is that? It's a squirrel. More choo-choos. Rah, squirrel, get out of here, drop your nuts. Supposedly they drop nuts or something, is what I read. Sign guy here. Sign guy here, this is exciting. You guys can fight those, by the way, if you want to. They're just choo-choos. There's some wild, oh, there's, here we go. So there's a couple of enemies. I don't know, here, let me just pull out this. Boom. Uh, delete that one. Boom. Okay. Cool. Blue Bokoblin. You know what? I need a better weapon than this, probably. Gotcha. And then we got, uh, yeah. A silver Bokoblin. All right. Oh, that broke. You know what? This Gloom Spear Spear might be the real ticket here. What? Did he hit me? What the heck? A tree? Wait, is that that's one of those trees. Which is great, because I can photograph that ever, ever... No. What, what is this? There you go. Oh, it might have died. 
Where is it? Where's my gloom spear spear? Did I pick it back up? I did not. What in the world is attacking me? Where's my spear? I don't know where my spear went. I dropped it. It was a good spear too. I can't just go without my spear, can I? I'm like, ow, what the heck was that? Dude, who has my spear? Dude, I don't know where my spear, oh, you know what would help me find my spear? Probably this. There it is. All right, come here now, come here now. Got some shock fruits. Oh, it stopped raining. Get, get, get me out of here. All right, let's, uh, sure. You know what, I don't know what we're gonna be holding. It stopped raining though, that's the key part of this. And you know, I guess, oh shoot, bees. Uh, choo choo jelly, sure. Now that just looks like a very basic sign, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with this one. Let's uh, just put it in there. Are we fighting something? Don't know. Excuse me, robot. Get out of here. I'm hoping that this does the trick here. No idea, by the way, if this will work, but let go. Let go. I knew that would work. I just somehow knew. All right. Red rupee. Nice. All right, so. How many, uh, if we look at our compendium I have three monsters I need two more monsters it's something that we can just do later you know what I mean like we can just do that later come back there's a fast travel point there there's no like rush to do it now uh, so let's head back into the village then and we will do the election I don't know who I'm voting for do I get a vote I am technically a resident or I was or I don't really understand anymore like the way that this is structured I, is that my house is that Zelda's house is that just a vacation home like what in the world I'm pretty sure that used to be my house Hatino Village I think was one of the first places that I really went to last game right so let's see uh, let's do the election it hasn't rained. I mean, it had rained, but it's not raining. It's almost time. Right, it's time to get the election for village mayor underway. Nice day for an election, don't you think? Everybody's gathering in the plaza. I'm curious. Who's going to win? And now, without further ado, let's have uh, each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Uh, hi, I'm Reed. I believe that the heart of our village is our its pastoral culture. We built a close-knit, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hateno, and I don't want to see us lose that. My plan is to strengthen our community with new local specialties, starting with our brand new Hateno cheese. And I am the world-renowned CC Hyrule's premier fashion designer. But you knew that, of course. No. Together, we can turn this backwater village into Hyrule's go-to destination for all things stylish. No. 
Vegetables don't make the world go round. It's glamour that rakes in the cash. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. Fashion comes and goes. Your style is trending now, but it will be over soon. And then where will we be? Nonsense. It's trends that shape the world, not the other way around. That's... That's enough. Wow. She's, Sophie. Both of you are just arguing for more of what you like, not what's best for Hateno. You can't fool me, CC. You've loved simple, plain things forever, including the vegetables of, a, of Hateno Village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables. But, but what, what, where did, ever did you get such a curious notion? Oh. And you, Reed, your secret's out too. I know you've been studying, secretly studying Cece's designs in the shed. You think there's something there you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming. Oh. Now, who went and told you that? Was it the guy who snuck in? <laughs> Cece, I can't deny any of it. It should have made me happy that you came in and livened up the village. No, Reed, it is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. The trends and style I made my name on are built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebearers worked for. Please forgive me, everyone. I'm sorry, too. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. Cece, wait. I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. Did I hear you say you're working on a new vegetable to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a CC worthy endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, with asking uh, if you can help, you know. Uh. People of Ateno, uh. we've come to a decision. The best way to keep Ateno Village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional culture with new ideas. Uh. There we go. A happy ending. <laughs> Sophie and Clavia told me what you did on, on our behalf. Thanks to you, Hateno Village is thriving once more. We ought to reward such fine work. Come to Venice Clothing when you have a moment. Finally, am I cool enough? Can I get a hat? The mayoral election is not over. I guess. I it's all thanks to you. I knew, of course, that you'd been in cahoots with Sophie. But I never dreamed you also would be conspiring with Clavia. Still and all, we can call that election a, su a success. Oh. Do you remember what we discussed when you first came here? No. The CC had is the latest masterpiece from the CC collection. See those luxurious curves, the avant-garde colorway? Everything about that hat is perfect, and so I've been saving it to bequeath to the perfect model. Oh. Do you grasp yet what I'm getting at? It's you that I want to model my CC hat. You who saved not just Atino Village, but also me and Reed. My perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. And besides, let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. Ooh. Here we are. I got the CC hat. I wonder if I can upgrade it to the fairies. No. Now, put on that CC hat and lord it over the whole world. Uh. Tidy, hmm? I shall reinvent myself and open vesting clothing anew. Sophie, there's work to be done, sister. Hopefully I can buy stuff here. No. There we go. As for myself, I've had a long think about where to take my brand from here. To begin with, I'll study my collection of unique goods designed by our forebearers. No. See me if you happen to part ways with your precious apparel that's too rare to be purchased. I might have something in my collection that can serve as a guide. All right, the mayoral election is complete. And what's in this room? Is this... I wanted to get in here forever, but nothing, because it's all been moved. By all, I mean two things have been moved. Or actually, a couple things have been moved. Uh, what is this? This is a Hylian tunic. 130. This is a Royal Guard uniform, which is super expensive. Um, this is a hood or something. What is this? This is a Hylian hood. Okay. And this is a Hylian trousers. So, interesting get up. I also have, of course, as we've seen, the new CC hat. Which I... <laughs> it comes with lipstick. Look at me. Ooh. All right. I have a private collection of rarities from all over the world. They were designed by the finest artists of generations past. Everything in it is so rare that you won't find any any other shop. But for you, I'd be happy to talk terms. Fashion check, please. Oh, the bold elegance of walking in here wearing such unequal, unequaled fashion. Such perfect confidence. Such refined taste. No. A full 100 points. 
we, you can walk the streets or the runways with pride, wearing the very finest and most limited edition CC brand couture. Fashion is a mirror that reflects our inner selves. Be bold and express yours as you continue your quest. Uh-huh. So then, are you are you interested in pursuing my collection? Nah, I'm good. I'm I'm good. Well, sh- sure. Show me. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is stuff that I have. <coughs> weird. Oh, but also, yeah, weird. Okay. I guess this is stuff that I might might lose, or something. I don't know. All right. Uh-huh. Weird. Goodbye. Ooh. Goodbye, indeed. I look great. I got this amazing wig on. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate all that you guys do for me. Liking these videos, subscribing, all that stuff. Leaving comments. You guys are perfect. Thanks for being here. I will see you next time for more. There's a couple loose ends here. We still got to do, uh, you know, the the teacher stuff. We'll probably do that later. Um, and then we also got to do... Because I don't know what he's going to have me do. I don't know how many missions there are. I don't want to get started on it. And, like, there's, like, five things I have to go do, like, in different parts of the world. And then, eventually, you know, show, you know, get the, uh, get my sensor upgraded all the way on the pure pad. So, I'll do that soon. But next episode will be a memory, I think, going to uh, the southern area. So, I'll see you for that. Goodbye, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.